capital has always been about speed up. Well, yes, it's always been about speed up, but it's now investing more and more in immobile fixed capital, which is actually sunk capital. Now, the point about sunk capital is how do you recuperate the value of the sunk capital? Well, part of it is recuperated by the people who build it. So, uh, for example, if you build a new airport, uh, then the construction interests come in, there, the designers, the, 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 the furnishing people and so on all come in and they get involved in producing the airport. And so they have a very, very good market for their business and they build the airport. At the end of the day, the airport is complete. Who is now going to use the airport? Well, they're only going to use it if the airport can actually generate some traffic and if they can charge uh, user fees for, for, for people using the airport, you can charge the airlines and all the rest of it. But in order for the airport to be viable economically, there has to be enough traffic. So the airline industry has to expand in order to actually meet the demand so there's enough traffic for the airport so the airport, airport can be viable uh, and that actually somebody will want to invest in the airport, own the airport, because they can extract uh, from it user fees in, in all sorts of ways and, and, and make a good living out of the ownership of the airport. So, But in order for that to happen means that you have to be prepared to keep the airlines flying all of the time for, I don't know, 20 or 30 years until the total value of the airport is recuperated. But what happens when a pandemic comes along and you can't use the airport anymore uh, because there's no, and, and, and because nobody's going to fly anymore? So the, all of those industries have got into very, very grave difficulty during the pandemic because uh, the, 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 the motion was not there to support uh, the fixed capital which had been invested in the airports. So this is the kind of this is the kind of dilemma which it seems to me that we're, that we're, we're confronting now. The pandemic, therefore, is, is is giving us a bit of a lesson about the valuation of fixed capital. In other words, the dynamics of a capitalist economy are supposed to be about mobility and about growth and about acceleration, but increasingly capitalism is becoming sclerotic because it's got fixed back investments in the built environment which need to be validated, need to be valorized, as Marx would say. And they need to be valorized by their use and the payment for, for, uh, 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 for that use. And this tension is all around us. Now, I, I find it hard right now to imagine how this is going to evolve. To what degree is this mass going to continue to increase at an exponential rate? And what are the costs of that expansion? And how is that expansion occurring? Is it becoming to, to make it things more, move faster and more mobile? Or is it becoming to, coming to be more sclerotic, more, more heavy, more difficult to move? And to what degree is it going to become weighed down by its own investment structures? This is the sort of problem which it seems to me is lo looming in the, in the not too distant future. I'm a very pessimistic in a sense about the future of capital at this particular moment because I think the mass which is required to revive capital accumulation in the style to which it was going before the invasion, before the pandemic, to, for that to happen, it seems to me, there's a, an almost impossible task of restoration of a mass which is almost impossible to accommodate given the, the barriers and the fact that we only have a, a, a single globe with which to work, only one single uh, climatic uh, regime uh, which is available to us, only one uh, uh, system of, 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 of economy which is, which is available to us, which is the, 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 the capitalist accumulation system. Clearly, the case for an alternative is very strong, and that is entirely why I would want to call this podcast, this is where we're talking about the anti-capitalist possibilities, the anti-capitalist chronicles, and where they come from and where they might go to.